Hello everyone, welcome. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of May 2nd through the 8th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. It helps it grow as well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for that. And you're starting off with the High Priestess. Oh. Talking over with some people in your life, somebody that knows a lot about you. This could be you knowing a lot about them. You know, just having that heart to heart this week. Could be to do with family as well for some. And the Queen of Swords. So there you go. Moving forward. You know, you're developing your verbal skills. Not that you didn't have them before, but you're having that more conviction when you deliver what you want to say. <coughs> Pardon me. You know, you're writing things down. You know, in this case, it could be you're delivering some sort of news that needs to be, you know brought to light oh and the lovers well there you go you're definitely deciding this week that you're making a firm commitment and this could be to a person a career something that really speaks to your heart you're quite content you know you're you're just feeling over abundant in in happiness and love and your heart's filled that sort of thing. This could be the week that you decide that you're going to take a risk in, in a new job. You know, something that really you've had an interest in for a long time and you decided to follow that path. For others of you, this could be um, becoming more involved with a partner, maybe getting engaged, maybe deciding to move in with one another, you know, or in doing an investment together in something in your lives as well you know getting a new partner and the strength card and you're learning not to repress your feelings when you're talking to others or in matters you're getting straight to the heart of what it is that you want an answer to and on until they answer it in a way that you understand it you keep pursuing it you know this could be trying to find out whether you're finally going to, you know, get that pay raise or, you know, whatever it is that you're learning to ask for, you're not giving up on it. Now, if this is people that, you know, unfortunately in your past or even in your future sometimes or right now, we hang around with people that are don't uplift us in life. You know, the naysayers or people that drain your your energy because you're always the one giving or trying to help. You know, they just bring out the worst feelings in you. And this could be the week that you're managing that and taking charge of it and, and separating from them, like letting it out of your life, moving on. And the tower. So most definitely, you know, something in your life has suddenly changed when you've seen like that aha moment but you're learning to listen to it you're not ignoring it you're questioning it why did I see it that way why did I hear it that way you know and like I said this could be in your finances your friendships your relationships you know you're no longer afraid to see what the answers are but you're inquiring after them you know this is your wake-up call this gives you that time to clear house you know if it's not on what you want you're just deciding to set it free so that you can secure yourself in the future and the king of swords yeah, you're flooded with all kinds of new ende endeavors and ideas and you want to see them you know grow in the future so if there's a problem you're attacking the problem you know right now you're not you know, putting it to the back burner. You're trying to find solutions to get it done. And if this is in a job situation, you want to be credited for the work that you're doing as well. 
you know, you don't want somebody else to come up and say, oh yeah, we talked about this, but meanwhile it was you talked to them sort of thing. So you're standing up for yourself in many different areas of your life. And the Queen of Wands. So there you go. You know, you're successful. You're taking on new adventures, you know, and you're acting not impulsively, but you've thought about this for a while. So you're managing your own life around you, how it's how you're going to see it play out because you're flexible in many areas of your life, but you're also rigid in some that you have a vision that you're not willing to compromise on. But if you have to go about it a different a little bit of a different way, but still succeeding at the end with the same game, then you're willing to do that. And the page of swords. Yeah, so definitely some sort of disagreement this week with somebody about something. You know, this could be, you know, you don't agree with the way they're talking or acting or, you know, this could be in a relationship. This could be for some of you in your job, just friends, that sort of thing. But this is the one that you're sort of like, I just need a break from all this. And you're, you know sort of taking a trip but you're not you're not verbally saying anything but you're thinking a lot this week giving yourself time to you know filter what you've seen and heard and the death card yeah because you're not going to go through what you've gone through in the past you've already told yourself that you've learned that lesson and these are the shake-ups and wake-up calls that you're getting this week so that you can make that executive decision once more in your life but faster this time it won't cost you as much uh, mentally and physically and the five of cups so there you go most definitely you know taking that time out looking at all your options you know your relationships your unsuccessful relationships your disappointments in life you know that could be in your career moves maybe a a dream job that you thought about doing you're starting to understand that you know it's not viable that sort of thing but you're learning that that's okay because it's showed itself now so now you can you know alter your course and go about another turn in your life and and keep moving forward and you will yeah and the wheel of fortune so there you go you know it's a very lucky card you know, your things in your life and your decisions are starting to pay off. You know, this could be an uh, increase in your money. This could be an increase in your love life. This could be, you know, that big career break that you've been dreaming of and here it comes sort of thing. You only thought it, but now it's coming into reality for you. You know, everything happens for a reason, they say. Sometimes it's not a happy thing, but... It does teach, and this is the new beginning for you. The wheel is turning positive, but it's still moving forward. And the judgment. So there you go. Now, you've probably put off making this decision for quite some long time. You know, it's been rolling around in your head and, you know, and then you're home alone sort of thing. So you're rethinking about it and then you know you get distracted again and you put it to the back burner but you're also realizing that you have to face this time's up and you're no longer you're not going to allow yourself to feel guilty about your decisions but you're going to deal with them so you know if this is somebody who's not been treating you right or talking behind your back that sort of thing or you know you're not getting the money that you deserve from your job you're learning to, you know, shut the door. You're following your intuition this week quite a lot, you know, and, and that's good because it will help you heal as, as you go. You know, sometimes the lessons in life are not pleasant, but they're there for a reason. And the justice card. All right. So there could be a court appearance for some of you. Divorce settlement for others. And then again, for others, it could be, 
um, some sort of legal contract. Maybe you've decided that you want to go work somewhere, but they're demanding that you sign a contract in order to work there, that you're going to be in that position for the next, you know, time frame. So you're clearing your, your ship here. You're, you know, if there's old accounts that need to be dealt with, you're dealing with them, you know, but you're moving forward and it's going to be done properly. All right, I'm going to pick and shuffle you an angel oracle card, but you're moving on a positive note. You've made some, you know, huge strides in your decisions and your ideas in life this week. All right. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. Well, that's beautiful. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.